Why, hello there, beautiful people. I would like to welcome you to new series proposal number three. It's yet another game that I am very unfamiliar with. MVP NCAA Baseball 06. Now, this game in particular had been requested by multiple different people on the channel who have followed my other series. And this is a pretty rare game. There are only two of these games in particular that were made. I couldn't get my hands on MVP NCAA Baseball 07, so I settled for 06. So this should be an interesting series if this is the one that gets voted for. I mean, I wouldn't mind it being like a stream series, honestly, because as you guys have probably seen from my Super Mega Baseball series and then from my video yesterday with MLB The Show 07, my familiarity with baseball isn't really that strong. I mean, I don't really play many baseball games outside of like the backyard baseball games and Super Mega Baseball. And as you guys saw in the video yesterday, I was struggling with MLB The Show 07. Doesn't mean I'm going to give up on it, but these baseball games are just really not my cup of tea. But anyways, so I decided for this series in particular, I'm going to create my own team. And I came up with the Gresham State Lumberjacks out of Gresham, Oregon. Gresham is just like a random city that I picked out of Oregon. I just figured like the Pacific area of the U.S. isn't really big on baseball from my understanding. So let's just take a look at the roster. We got Mike Kennedy, Mark Mandel, who are our top two batters. Mike Kennedy is the center fielder and pretty much is our top batter on the team. He's good with contact and pretty good with power as well. Mandel's more of a contact hitter. And then we got Christian Estrada, who's the second baseman. He's also more of a contact hitter. We got the left fielder, Kyle Lamparillo. I kind of butchered his name. I'm not going to try it again. He's also a contact hitter. We got Pat Ordaz, who really is stronger against left-handed pitchers. And we got Chris Albrecht, the right fielder. Then the catcher, Kevin Campos. Then the shortstop, Andy LeClerc. I almost called him a strong safety. Then Reggie Bearlocker is our designated hitter. And then we have a few guys who are on the bench, like Jim Laquia, Justin Barniak, Steve DeGuio. We got a few different guys on the team. Now, if you guys want to rename any of these guys, I will give you an opportunity to do so in the comments section below. Obviously, with patrons seeing this video before anybody else, you guys will have priority over anybody else as far as naming players. So I decided to play a little exhibition game against a team that we all are pretty familiar with if you've been following my channel for a while, Sacramento State. Of course, the significance is I have a College Hoops 2K8 legacy that's probably gonna be coming to an end very soon on the channel. If you guys wanna go check that out, the link to the playlist will be in the description below. But here we go, Julio Beatty is going to be the starter for Sacramento State. He's more of an off-speed pitcher. As you see, his fastballs aren't very strong. And out first, we have Mike Kennedy. So, as you're going to see, I kind of have the same issues with this game as I do with MLB The Show. Just kind of my timing is off. And that one I probably shouldn't have swung at. But look at that dive. That was a beautiful dive for the ball there. Got to show the instant replay. My man just superman that jump. So now we got the second batter, and Mark Mandel going to hit that into right center. He's going to get a base hit. Kind of a lucky hit for me, honestly. Maybe I'm just not giving myself enough credit. But then I'm going to strike out with Estrada there. Then Lampariello, who I keep butchering his name, strikes out as well. Again, it's mainly just my timing that just isn't very good. I'm just either swinging too early or swinging too late. Haven't gotten there just right. So out comes Jeff Cox. I'm sure there are going to be plenty of memes with his name. So, as with MLB The Show 07, my pitching skills in this game aren't horrible. It's just the pitching on the team isn't very good. But Cox is going to get that grounder. And I damn near forget how to throw it to first base, so I nearly gave up a single there just by being an idiot. But luckily there's an out. And then LeCleric going to make a hell of a throw and we get out of the inning without giving up a single hit, so yay me. We out here doing big things, and it's still 0-0. Zero, zero. So now here comes Chris Albrecht, already one out in the inning, and then I'm going to strike out. That clearly was a ball that I should have just let go, but at least the timing was at least a little better than what I'm usually doing. And then I'm going to ground out to end the top of the second. 
And again, I just got to get better at this game as far as batting goes. So here's Lanier for Sacramento State. He's going to hit it right to Ordaz. Beautiful catch there. That's going to end the second inning. And Sacramento State still hasn't registered a hit so far. So through two innings, I'm doing a good job of pitching. It's just my batting needs to get a little better. Now, I'm going to strike out there. I probably should have swung at that, but I checked it instead. So that ended the inning for me. Now to the bottom of the third, and I'm finally going to give up a hit. I'll lay that out right in the middle of the strike zone, and I paid dearly for it. That's going to be a triple for Sacramento State. And honestly, I just got to work on the controls for this game for the most part, as I probably should have thrown this to home base, but instead I throw it the first, so we get the out, but we also give up a run. So Sacramento State, just like that, up one nothing, And then... Right here, I give up a fly ball, and I don't get underneath of it. I probably should have switched over to the shortstop, but instead, I allowed another base hit. And Cox is just getting blasted right now as the line drive heads into center field. Now we have runners on the corners. That's not a good situation to be in. So now Cox going to hit it right to Ordaz. This time, I smarten up. I throw it to home base. Although, I could have gone for a double play there in hindsight, but oh well. Doesn't really matter, though, as Mandel's going to pick that one up. Cox going to run to first base, and that gets us out of the inning. It's one nothing, so it's still a manageable game up to this point. But I got to get some hits going. We're in the top of the fourth now, and I hit it right to third base. Oof. Now, two outs in the fourth, and then I just get frozen up right there. I just got to work on, like, you know, reading certain pitches, honestly, when I'm batting. And then I'll be a lot better at this game. But right now, I'm just not there. But I am doing a pretty good job of pitching for the most part outside of those few miscues that I made in the third inning. So now, one out in the bottom of the fourth. And I'm going to give up a hit to right field. Albrecht going to pick it up. But we give up a double there. My pitching is still pretty probably the best part of my game but how much is that really saying at this point as we're going to give up another hit that's going to get the runner home i try to throw it but i throw it to second instead of home wouldn't have got to home anyways but now we're down to nothing and then we're going to give up another hit i mean now i don't know if it's the pitcher or just my pitching skill is just isn't as good as i was trying to make it out to be and i don't know he probably should have just gone to home because there was no way i was going to throw him out but then Lamparillo, not going to get underneath this one. This is going to get two runners home. And, yeah, it's getting pretty embarrassing now at this point. I should probably cut the video off at this point. But, I mean, it wouldn't be justice to not show you guys what happened in the rest of the game. This time I'm going to get underneath this one. But then the runner on third base is going to tag up and he's going to get home. Makes it 5 nothing Sacramento State. They got two outs in the bottom of the fourth. And finally, we're going to get out of the inning as they ground to the shortstop, LeClerc. And we're down 5 nothing at the top of the fifth. We got a hole to dig ourselves out of. We're going to ground this one up to center field. That's good for a base hit. So things are getting cooking for us a little bit now. We got to keep it going, though. Now one out, and then we're going to strike out again. Again, my batting skill just isn't very good in this game. And then we're going to ground out to the second baseman. And it's all bad at this point. Now at the bottom of the fifth, we're going to get a strikeout there. So we're doing big things. Cox still in the game. That's one thing I do have to work on. I do have to work on getting my bullpen, like, you know, warmed up in case the starting pitcher just starts faltering like Cox did in the fourth inning. So now here's a grounder. Estrada going to throw it to first. That's going to end the inning. Now we're at the bottom of the six after we do nothing at the top of the six. And we th get another strikeout with Cox. So Cox is a good pitcher. It's just, I'm not good at the game yet, so you're going to see me like mess up a lot of things as I walk the batter there, so now we have a man on first. And now, first pitch of the count, and that's going to go deep to right field, but what a catch by Albrecht. And I'm going to get a double play because it doesn't look like the runner thought that I was going to catch that one. And he was well on his way to third, so he had to run all the way back, and at that point, it was just too little too late. He was already tired. So now it's top of the seventh, and we're going to strike out to end the inning. We did have a man on second, but it went for not. Again, my batting just has to improve at this point.
I mean, it can't really get much worse. So now I'm trying to get myself out of this hole. And I'm going to give up a huge hit there. That is going to go over the wall for the home run. So it took me a little longer to give up a home run than it did when I played MLB The Show. I gave up a home run first inning, if I remember correctly. First or second inning, one of the first two. But now it's 8 nothing on the three-run home run. And then we're going to give up a hit right up the middle. That's going to bring two men home. And I don't know if you guys know this or not. I didn't know it until this happened. But college baseball apparently has a 10-run mercy rule. So Sacramento State was up 10-0 and the game ended just like that. So we did play the full game. It's just the game ended earlier than I thought it was supposed to. I thought we were going to play all nine innings. But Sacramento State ends up shutting us out 10 to nothing in seven innings. And that's pretty embarrassing. But, you know, sometimes you, got, you just got to humiliate yourself to motivate yourself to get better at certain games. And that's pretty much what I'm doing with this video. So if you guys enjoyed this video, you enjoyed me getting clobbered, let me know in the comments section below. If you guys are feeling this series, make sure you guys hit that like button, hit the sub button if you know as well. Turn your notifications on to join the notification gang. That way, every time I drop a new video, you guys will be alerted. And if you do have your notifications turned on, but you feel like you're still not getting my videos when they drop, then make sure you guys follow me on Twitter and join my Discord server, and even follow me on Facebook. On those three platforms, those are where I usually notify everybody that I'm dropping a new video. But that's going to do it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. You guys have yourselves a wonderful rest of your day, night, or whenever you're watching this. Like I always say, guys, no matter what happens, make sure you keep that mofo rolling. I love y'all 3,000. I'm Audi 5,000. Deuces.